today's video I just wanted to show if you wanted to like draw around something like this Game Boy if I right click and try and trace the image it's probably not going to trace very well you can see and a lot of the time you know it don't trace perfectly I just wanted to show it's not actually too hard if you want to you know draw something like this out so I'm just going to show how I would do it and hopefully might help someone out with some tips so all I would do is over these main areas which are square is just drag a, or you know they're close to square you can fix them in a minute just drag out the square till it's about right I'll do this one I can do one of these because I can flip it another thing to do is if you turn the output off on the image it's still there but it's not quite so dark um, I'll just put that there I'm just going to start with these for a second so all I'm going to do is select these two and just take everything out the inside so I've got that little button there on the side check on these corners and you can see they're slightly rounded so you just want to pick this radius tool and then pick the radius that you think is right if that isn't correct you can press Control and Z and that will take you back one and now I'm going to see up at 6 mil yeah that fits it perfect so I'm going to do 6 mil on this corner I'll try that on this corner but it's probably oh that's good uh, you can see that one's more I mean with that you could turn this up and just see and if it's not correct oh well, that was lucky if it's not correct you just press control and Z and go back even these are a little bit rounded so I'm just going to put two mil just around these oh, that's too much control and Z one mil that if you can't get this to match up how you want it I'm gonna press control and Z and go back if you use the node editing tool you can insert a node down here press I where it starts to bend then you can press I up here where it starts to bend and then come to this corner and press S and now you can move this in you can see it follow that pretty well Okay, so like with this now, I've got one of these, I could just click this because it's already got the rounded corners, press Control and D to duplicate, and then rotate 90 degrees, so that'll give me that. These here, it's a little bit odd, I mean you can click with the pen tool and draw around it, but to get it neater, a better way really, is if I draw out a square here, if I make it exactly 10 millimeters wide, the length don't matter too much at the moment and then I know it's 10 millimeters wide so if I make this five millimeters and click on the corners then it's gonna end up you know exactly round because five millimeters and five millimeters now I'm just going to duplicate control and D just a couple of times because I need a couple of these I'll zoom that in <coughs> shrink it down See that fits pretty well. I'm going to press Control and D because this one should be exactly the same. Because it can be done with a pen tool. What I do with the pen tool is I would click here, click roughly here in the centre, click there, same centre, and back to here, and then go to the node editing tool and just insert a node I and then press S to smooth it out bring these corners out 
same I S. See, so I've got a few of these to do, so now that's a little bit better fit, so control and D, move it along, control. And these buttons are just round, so if you hold shift it'll give you a perfect circle. Control and D, so if we've got another one of them, exactly the same. And then like with these, you don't want to, oh, control and C, take you back. You don't want these crossing in the middle, so you just select them both and say everything out of the centre. Now you can actually put the little circle in the centre, what should be there. Click the two of them and click centre. I'm going to turn the image off for a minute. You can see it's already looking like a Game Boy. And now, I mean, really, all you'd have to do is put in the rest of your, like the writing and stuff. But I just wanted to show how you could, you know, you can quite easily trace shapes. But yeah, I just wanted to show that because hopefully there's something that might have helped someone. But yeah, with the no editing tool, you can basically make any shape. And these shapes could be made a different way. I've just found, you know, making it a certain width and using the radius tool is the easier way. I mean, you could, you could do a circle, duplicate the circle, and drag it down, and then draw a square, centre to centre like that, and just select the, t you know, select the two and take everything out the centre, and then select these two and take everything out the centre you basically you know you can see that takes a few more steps so yeah just with these tools I mean you can do a lot of stuff and sometimes really because now this will cut perfect because I uh, drew it out and if you did want to etch it and you can see like this would etch the wrong way around all you have to do is select your outside line and make it your cut line that would do it because now it would cut around this or you can select the outside line you can offset it offset you want to make sure delete original is not ticked and now you can see just give me that yeah and then it'll just be a matter of oops, just a matter of finding the correct letters you know and then filling it in so yeah i just wanted to give that a couple quick tips and thank you for watching and please like and subscribe and i'll put out another video as soon as possible thank you